Hey, what's good, guys? How to go about putting your third party uh, VSTs into the MPC software? Uh, some people use like Complete 11, some people use Fruity Loops. Uh, whatever DAW it is that you're using or whatever sounds that you have, like I use uh, Fruity Loops or I have it on my computer and I bought it a long time ago. But um, to do this, like me, whenever I install stuff on my computer, I'm not very organized, right? So I just put it on there. I don't know what folder it goes to or anything like that. So what I want to do today is just kind of show you guys how to go through and actually figure out where your third party plugins are and how to find them on your MPC. This way you can use them in controller mode, of course, because you can't put them in standalone mode. I've actually had complete 11 and tried to put it in standalone mode. Like I took the hard drive out of my laptop where I had it installed and put it in and all of it popped up on the drive or on the screen, but no sounds were there. So it didn't work, but in controller mode, it's all legit. So check this out real quick. I'm going to put on the MPC software here real fast. All right, guys. So I, hey, Rec, what's up, man? I appreciate you for watching. I just had a, a bunch of questions about this. Like I had three people ask me about this and I'm just going to run you through it real quick. Like to use like Fruity Loop Studio or to get any of your plugins see how i don't know where any of this stuff is in there but it's all in my mpcx i had complete and everything but i deleted it so what we're going to do is to get that to pop up you just hit these three lines right here right up at the top double click that we're going to hit edit after edit you're going to go down here to your preferences and your preferences pop up. This here is your audio interface and blah, blah, blah. We're not worrying about that. This is for your MIDI. We're not worrying about that. Your plugins right here. It's the third one down. And again, what we're doing is I'm going to scan my whole C drive because I don't know where any of this stuff's at in my computer. You guys, I honestly don't. I'm not very organized when it comes to installing stuff. So and for me, it was easier for me to just scan my whole C drive and my whole, I have two drives in my computer. You want to make sure that box is checked by your C drive. If you only have one drive, if not click them both. And then it hits rescan all because some of your plugins won't work. Some do, but after you do that, it'll take a long time. And I mean, that's pretty much it after you're done with that then you'll be able to come over here and you'll have your plugins to where you can use them. And yeah, they pop up real nice and everything jives. Um, I can open up Fruity Loops right here. It already gave me a template. And if I hit a key over, oops. If I hit a key on this pluck, let's say, I'm hitting it on my key. You can see it in the MPC software because I don't use Fruity Loops to make my music. I use it because I can make my own sounds. And yeah, I think it's just dope to be able to do that. And that's just the way I do it. I can use this wobble. You can use a basic jazz guitar sounds, choirs, oohs, ahs. Cool. So again, I just wanted to share how to get those third party VSTs in your MPC software. Um, again, any other questions that you guys might have, just feel free to call me or uh, leave it on the uh, leave it on the freaking leave a comment on the thing man, or Instagram me or something and I'll make a video for you. Just had a guy literally like not even four minutes ago, tell me that he wanted me to make a video about that. So I did. And um, I hope that everybody that has third party VSTs watches this and 
sees how to put it in there. Other than that, guys, I hope everything is good. Um, I got to eat something, so I'll holler at you guys later on. Holy Popo, and I am out. Thank you.